Hello, I'm Chris and welcome back to my next episode of the Ayashima S13 build. Uh, to get this one started off, we're just going to start with a nice and easy, the most quickest bit, is just getting these chrome bits down on the stanchions of the suspension struts. Uh, but like I mentioned in the unboxing, with this kit, the springs are actually springs and separate, so they've been put on a cocktail stick and gone outside, they've had a bit of a coating of red paint. Uh, so just get these down um, and then I'll quickly show you how it's looking. So once we get back into focus, you can see here uh, the difference it makes having a separate spring. This is the one that's being moulded in. The moulded in ones are not too bad, but they can be quite tricky at times, especially when the springs are a lot thinner and smaller and they're a tighter knit. Uh, but yeah, these, I really like it. I wish more kits had separate springs. When it comes to the chassis work, I tend to have the same bunch of paints just to get through the, the detailing required that personally I find is enough. You know, such as your rubber black, you've got your metallic greys, your gun metals, chromes, flat aluminiums, uh, titan gold. I have titan gold or red, depending on what mood I'm in, depends what calipers get painted. Um, I also have a, a X11 and X12 mix. X11 chrome, X12 gold leaf, an equal mix of gold leaf, chrome and thinners. Uh, I tend to use that for like touching up like little details like maybe little bolt heads and things like that which you'll see further along in the video. Yes, that is a Derby Lee Dunkers pot. Uh, washed out, it's very good with some hot water in both sides. One for cleaning your brush off in gloss, one for cleaning your brush off with metallic. Uh, these are my favourite brushes, the Humboldt Colero, size 4, size 1. I just think they're a good all-rounder brush. Right, time to get brush painting. Truth be told, it's not my favourite part, but it is in the way that we're getting there at the end of the build. Um, I get very excited when it gets to this part because it, it's just, for me, this is where it really starts coming to life. You start getting all the colour down, you start getting all the detail detailed up, and it just really, you know, yeah, it just, it, your vision in your head is finally uh, coming into material form, and it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good part. It's just a shame that I just don't like brush painting. Um, it, I think it's just down to the finish. Sometimes when you can see the brush strokes, marks, yeah, it's a little bit, um, it's not disheartening, but it's just a little bit irritating, but it is what it is. And also, my little foam block there. Yeah, I use my little foam, foam block. Uh, if anything like that on cocktail sticks, it's good once you've painted it, uh, just to literally stab it into the foam block, set it to one side, leave it to dry.
So here comes the tricky bit. Trying to paint these wheel nuts on these little tiny wheels. Um, it's not my favourite part, especially as I haven't got this steady as hand going. Um, I do make a little bit of a mess. Uh, what I'm trying to actually do is uh, lay down a chrome base. Uh, once it's dried, going over it with like a clear red. Um, I learnt this trick uh, a long time ago to get like an anodized look. So you lay down a chrome, then you lay down a clear colour on top of that, be it clear blue, clear red, you know, green, orange, yellow, whatever colour you fancy. Um, just to get that, it, yeah, it's, it's kind of like an anodized look in a way. Um, and with this being an S13 build, um, it's you see it on quite a lot of, you know, JDM cars with the, you know, I've seen some of that bullet shaped wheel nuts and very brightly colored and you know i'm just trying to go with that theme and you know something that stands out and you don't want to, i didn't want to go for blue on a blue body i just wanted something completely against it completely different in contrast
Well, that's really the tricky bit. We're going to get the clear red down over the chrome now it's dried up. Uh, but this is the hardest bit. It, obviously, with the red over the white, it stands out a lot more than a little bit of chrome. Um, I have got some flat pointed tips, Tamiya cotton swabs. Uh, so very good for things like this. Uh, as you can see there, uh, the, the clear red over the chrome gives it that nice anodized look as such. Uh, this is that pointed cotton swab tip I was on about. So I've got a little bit of paint on the spokes there. Uh, one end I've just wet it with some warm water. Uh, while the paint's still wet, just trying to clear it off, budge it off, and a bit of dry end, just wipe it up and clean it up. Um, and you'll see later on, I just think it's, it's worked out pretty well. And this is why I keep my uh, cleaning water separate. So as you can see, guess which one's a metallic one. Uh, yeah, what you don't want is you don't want the little metallic flecks on the end of your brush going into your gloss paint and just mixing it up and making it something it shouldn't be. Um, so yeah, little dairy really donkers part, wash it out, and there you are. Happy days. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Cheers.